Oh. <laughs> okay, one twenty-five. Just a. This will be pretty good. This uh. I was not looking forward to a chest day at Planet Fitness, but now that we found this other badass gym, chest day is going to be immaculate. Probably, I mean, my basic approach to chest is start off with some heavy shit, so probably going to do f about six sets of heavy pressing-ish, right? and then once I've done that, all I'm focused on is finishing the workout with a pump. So maybe I'll move on to cable flies or pec deck, or I'll fucking uh, go back to like lighter pressing movements and just really focus on squeezing. But, you know, basically the first half will be like heavy shit, really trying to push weight around. And then the second half of the lift will be more so about trying to get a good squeeze and burn and just pump the fuck out of it. I, uh... Feeling a little off. I've been eating a ton of sushi from Publix. Which, like, it's good. <laughs> but this is, like, way more sushi <laughs> at once than I've probably eaten in the last, like, year or two. So I'm not talking food poisoning level. Just something that's a little funky in the, on the insides. But I already drank the pre since this gym is literally, like, three minutes away, which is fucking perfect. And if it's as busy as it was last night for legs, then this is going to be sweet. You know, maybe there will be three people in there. So, no more yapping. Let's, uh, let's just get in there. And the video, bro. This inclined bench is kind of fucking badass. It's got uh, actual safeties, so I don't have to throw the weight... <laughs> over my fucking knees again. So let's see how a plate feels. So again, I mean, the warm-up sets, right, with the one plate, two plate, I'm not doing 30 reps, right? I'm just doing enough that, you know, I'm warm enough where jumping up to three plates will be comfortable, you know? Obviously, if I were to do no warm-up, I would probably fucking hurt myself if I jumped straight to the top set. But if I do too much of a warm-up, then I'm going to tire myself out unnecessarily for the top set. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Again, not gonna go too crazy. Uh, like that didn't feel that light. Like that warm up set did not feel 405 for eight light. Not that I've ever done eight reps, but I think 365 should be about right. Okay, so heavy bench was starting. I was starting to feel a little bit in the right shoulder, 
in a place that I haven't before. So I'm going to chill out on the crazy heavy stuff and uh, just jump straight to a little bit more of the squeezing movements. You know, moderate weight. I feel like a machine like this, especially having your, your hands vertical rather than horizontal, is going to help you start to feel your chest activate a little. Uh, you know, this and pec decks pretty much if you're trying to get that mind muscle connection. But I think probably one or two sets, of, well, probably two or three sets of this, and then move on to something else. I tell you what, if you ever try this machine, it is an unrivaled squeeze. Jeez. Okay, let's move on to, um, uh, let's move on to something. So, I think I'll just get some standard pec tech going. Not try to move the whole stack, but just get a kind of a crazy squeeze. I can kind of feel my right pec a little bit where I've sort of injured it in the past. Uh, not to the point where, like, I'm going to hurt it right now, but... I don't want to push it, of course. Typically, uh, I, th this is pretty much what I live by when I tell people to follow, is if something hurts, guess what you should do? Probably not do something that fucking hurts it, right? Like, I think that is the stupidest shit. I'll talk to a dude I go to the gym with for a while. Dude, your sh is your shoulder still fucked up, man? Yeah, you know, it fucking hurts every time I bench. And I'm watching him load up a 45 onto fucking flat. <laughs> like what the fuck you know what I'm saying so two of these ought to feel pretty fucking good I don't really love this pec deck. Good sets though. Okay, so this is a little bit of a funky one. Maybe I'll explain it a little bit better this time. So, I don't know what you would call this. Cross body cable, or cross body dumbbell flies, whatever. I certainly an advanced movement. Like if you haven't lifted for a year, you probably don't, you probably wouldn't benefit from this much. Or maybe you would, I don't know, whatever. I'm not you, I'm just telling you what I do. But I didn't do this for a long time until I tried it and I was like okay that's a really good squeeze so you take whatever pair of dumbbells you're going for you know the weight is going to be up to you but I'm, I'm about to use the 40s if you can use that as a gauge and what I do is I kind of hold them like this with my the butts of my hands on the metal right and I sort of lean forward a bit so they're hanging over my fucking quads and then one arm at a time I move it from right here to here right and if you do it right, you know, and you're not using your shoulders or anything, then you should pretty much just be contracting your pecs. And that's the end of it. And, I mean, you know, super good squeeze. I wouldn't want to do, like, 30 sets of this. I mean, I'm literally just going to do the one and then move on. But this is still going to be super effective and help me get a crazy pump. So let's just get this one going. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay. That feels pretty fucking good. So, for chest, if I'm doing a movement where I want to like focus on squeezing, obviously those dumbbell bent, the dumbbell presses, or I'm saying the, the barbell bench, that was just about moving around a lot of weight. But shit like this in the pack deck and that cable press, right? It, I want it to almost feel like my fucking chest is turning into a fucking rock right when I squeeze it. Like, even though I can't move it anymore, like, even though I'm at the maximum range of motion, I'm still trying to fucking squeeze. And I mean, that's kind of difficult to articulate just in, in like, words. That's sort of something that you'll just get used to and experience. I'm coming back to this cable press. Now, as I'm sure you've noticed, there's not a massive amount of rhyme and reason to my exercise selection, right? Pretty much after I finish with the heavy barbell bench, since it kind of felt a little bit off, uh, all I'm going for is exercises where, you know, I load a decent amount of weight and get a super good squeeze and burn so that I can finish the lift with a pump. Right? I would probably still be pumped if I just sat on here for the last nine sets. You know, I just know that the pec deck is going to feel good, and this is going to feel good, and those dumbbell flies or whatever they're called are going to feel good. Right? It's not like this is a perfect science. Each set is basically the same thing. All I'm doing is flexing the chest, taking it through a little bit of motion, right? And then trying to push through the burning sensation which is telling me to stop fucking doing the reps. Oh. Yeah. Let's uh let's discuss the lift during the pump check. There's things to be said. Okay. Let's see, is that about fucking right? Yeah, perfect. So yeah, every after that first set of bench, I knew that I wasn't gonna be going much heavier for that whole lift. Uh, I fucking pulled a little something in here a long time ago, and every so often I re-pull it just a tad. I could kind of just feel it a little, so definitely not re-injured per se, but it makes me a little skittish for the rest of the lift. So instead of just trying to push around a crazy amount of weight, lighter weight, got a pump. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel... Like, it, it's still a good lift. Like, that is definitely conducive to some growth. I'd say that fucking phrase a lot. But it just doesn't feel right. Not really fucking going crazy heavy. I don't know. Like, that level of exertion in a workout, I really like. <sighs> Maybe the twin mattress has given me poor recovery. But either way, let's check the pump out. Should still be just as freaky as ever. Kill it. I went to the beach today. Holy fuck. I'm red as a... Well, I guess you can't really tell. In person, I'm red as a fucking apple. At least on the shoulders and the back. I could fucking feel it when I was doing the bench. Like, uh, not, not ideal. It's muscular, God damn it. I feel decently muscular.
Dude, the shoulders look fucking round as all hell. That's freaky. Every time I do a lat spread with a chest pump, the chest kind of overpowers my back. Makes my lats look small. Well, small from the perspective of someone with most likely a considerable amount of body dysmorphia. So let's, uh, let's check that out. Oh, so, even with that crazy weight and like yeah it's it's right here it's right in here a little something so like i was saying i mean even with that crazy weight still a fucking freaky pump <laughs> okay a few more i've said this before i just love being pumped Alright. Let's go do some calves. I might even record a little bit of it. Oh! No calves for you. <laughs> I only did four sets of them. I only did four sets of calves. They were closing. Still, I can almost guarantee 30% of you haven't done one set of calves in the last week. I mean, calves, in my mind, let me, let me break down the logic for you. You walk around on them all fucking day. They're used to being worked, right? And you've seen the fucking memes where it's like, you zoom in on, it's, it's like a picture of somebody's calves. Calves are monstrous. You're like, holy shit, this guy's jacked. And then it's a full body shot and he's like 400 pounds, right? Because his calves are just working it all fucking day. You know, that, that's what they're used to. So... You know, what, maybe 10 minutes every lift? That's pretty much what I've been doing the last, like, actually, the last, like, I don't know, three years or so? On and off. Like, sometimes I skip it for a few months or whatever. But pretty much all my calf training has just been, like, single leg, moderate weight, you know, such that when I do 20 reps, it feels pretty good. I'm like, all right, that was a good set. You know, eight sets, get them pumped up. It's all you fucking need. Well, that's all I need, at least. You know, if your calves are, like, pencil thin, and you try daily calf work for, uh, like, a couple of months and nothing happens, then you might have to try something else. But I feel like everyone's a bit a bit quick to say, Oh, calves are genetics. Oh, it's, it's my genetics. That's my genetics. My calves aren't going to get big. And then, boom, they just skip them. Come on, what kind of mentality is that? What kind of mentality is that? Right? Just fucking deer calves. It's not even that hard. I'm not even sitting on the calf machine hyping myself up. I'm like just scrolling TikTok. Now, maybe that's not... Maybe your calves fucking need you to have your 100% attention. But I'm just saying that's, what's, that's what I've been doing. So, let's just slam the dextro shake and discuss some other topics. <sighs> And went down kind of easy. So it's dextrose and protein. It's not just dextrose. If you want to know what it is, just fucking look it up. So I've gotten to this before, but I still get comments about it. What are my long-term goals? What are my long-term ambitions and aspirations? Uh, I don't know, man. Just get big. <laughs> <laughs> just get big that's like that's probably the biggest one you know um so i'm still going to going to school i got another year of college left i'm going for mechanical engineering all right so i'm doing all sorts of physics and shit oh i tell you what i'm not i'm never excited to pick up my calculator right if that gives you any hint of uh how often i'm using it for that kind of shit but i'm three years in I'm going to finish the last year, right? I think a lot, 
I don't know. A lot of like other lifters per se my age is a dropout. I don't know. Maybe that's just sunk cost fallacy. Because uh I mean in the next year, if the social media gets big enough, I mean you can make a little bit of dough. So I'll see how far that goes. But in terms of like just the straight up lifting aspect of what I'm doing. Uh I mean, I don't necessarily really have a specific goal in mind. Pretty much this whole time, like, before I started recording these videos in the beginning of the year, right, uh, it's pretty much just my goal every day has been make sure I get a good lift. Uh, you know? And if I'm bulking, that would mean make sure I eat enough food and then get a good lift. And if I'm dieting, that means, all right, don't eat too much food and then get a good lift. Right? And then if I... Well, since I've been sticking to that mentality for like five fucking years-ish, I'm starting to get kind of big. You know, this uh, this shit takes a lot of time. At least in terms of, uh, like, la what am I thinking? Like, it's a long process. That's what I'm trying to explain. But, yeah, I don't... It's like competing. Like, that'll be cool. That'll be fun. It'll be a whole new thing I haven't done before. But you have to get big first. That's always been my mentality, like, uh, so of course, you know, bodybuilding training, bodybuilding, trying to get, you know, big ass muscles and shit, uh, and then eventually compete, right? But if you have as much time as you want to prepare, right, why not get completely fucking crazy before you compete, right? <laughs> right? Like, I feel like if I were to have tried to do a show like years ago even like I look good like I was built uh what would I really get out of it other than experience right like I would take it maybe three months to diet down so no muscle building progress at all because when you're getting that lean uh, if anything you're burning muscle right you're getting smaller temporarily and then you know I'd do my shit pose down whatever uh and then I would just go back to bulking up right so in my mind, what's the point of, uh, yeah, I just, I haven't seen the point. Like, it does seem a little bit silly to me. Uh, not, I'm not hating on anyone in particular, but when I see somebody who like, <laughs> at the worst case scenario, doesn't even look like they lift and they're oiled up tanned on a stage, uh, <laughs> it's hard for me to pinpoint something more foolish right? <laughs> uh, but then, you know, a level above that, you know, I, uh, I'll see some high school dudes and like, they're big, they're lean, they're muscular, but I just think that they'd be better off spending more time just bulking up, right? There's no chance that they're at their weight cap. You know, I'm almost thinking about it for me as like, uh, grinding <laughs> in like the first section of a video game, right, before, you know, challenging any kind of uh, gym leaders or whatever, if you get what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, definitely, uh, I'm not trying to say I don't have any ambition, right, I'm going to push this shit as far as I can, but I don't really like to visualize a specific end goal, right, because when you, when you do that kind of shit, or like, if you, if you get in your mind like, okay, I want to look exactly like this. Like, if you just overthink and you, like, visualize something perfectly in your mind, by the time you actually achieve it, right, or if you do get kind of close and it's slightly different, it's just going to, like, fuck up your satisfaction, you know? Like, uh, your, your dopamine and your, like, reward system and shit like that in your mind, it's, it's fucking kind of freaky. Like, if I were to sit here... And imagine myself, like, going to do a bodybuilding show or whatever. Because, that, like, that's kind of the end goal for what I'm doing. And I'm imagining myself just winning it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm almost telling my brain, like, wow, you did it. <laughs> Why would you want to fucking, you know, imagine that feeling now? You haven't done shit, right? So it's almost like I'm just trying to put my head to the grindstone just keep on fucking grinding. And then after a while, maybe look up and see what I've been working on. Right? 
if that makes any sense to you. So, there will definitely be competition updates reasonably soon, probably within a year. But I have zero, there's no planning in that yet. We'll just have to see what happens. So, on a shorter scale, I'm going to go in there and fucking take my vitamins, finish a pack of uh, sushi that I started earlier, and then go to fucking bed. Because I am fucking exhausted. So I will fucking see you next time. God damn it.